guys welcome to mobile Myths with gamchirai today i want to look at vector six here i've got a question that i want us to answer given the diagram below this is the diagram that we have o b c okay so they are saying first question a express b a in terms of a and b second question b if x is the midpoint of b a show that o x is that so what happens with these questions is like the first question will lead to the next the second one and so forth so it's like we are going to answer these questions in vectors uh one step by step so i'll start with a where we want to find b a this is b a okay like that so b a i'm going to use triangle o b a this one that i have highlighted in red and with that i can have o b plus b a being equal to o a okay what i'm just doing here is this since we want to find b b a b a is this one here okay in that direction so i can have a route where i can go i can go from uh o b okay and go to b a and i can get my o a okay like this going this direction i can get this vector here okay that's what i'm doing here so let's simplify this i'll have my o b is equal to b plus my b a i don't know this one is equals to o a is a okay so this i can simplify and get my b a is equal to a minus b okay so that's how we have simplified or expressed our question in terms of a and b okay let's go on to the next question part b it's saying x is the midpoint of b a so x is the midpoint of b a this is our b a then they are saying show sure that o x is equals to half a b so i'm going to use triangle triangle o b x this one okay that's the triangle that i'm going to use so with that triangle i can say uh b x b x is equals to half b a remember we said it's the midpoint x is the midpoint so i can take this and b a we had calculated in part a of the question okay so i can have my b x is half of a minus b okay like that now let's look at o x let's find o x o x we now want to find this one o x this one here okay o x this direction i can get my o x saying o b this one plus b x okay then i get this one so i'm taking this route to get o x okay so let's do that if i do that i can have my o x equal to o b plus b x okay and my o b is equals to b plus b x we just calculated there is half a minus b okay so we can simplify this and we have our b plus half a minus half b okay so i'm going to take uh, this one in this one okay together b minus half b what do we get we will get um so i will get my answer is o x is equal to uh, half a then here i've got plus half b okay that's what i'm getting here b minus half b then taking out half there i have o x is half a 
plus d so this is how we have shown that it is that okay let's go to part c of the question okay so part c of the question is saying given or c is equals to 3a express bc in terms of a and b so i'm going to take triangle i'm going to take triangle o b c okay that's the one that i'm going to take and with that triangle we are saying bc is equal to bo bo plus 4c that's oc so this is what i'm doing here i'm saying bc this one b c is equal to b o i can go this way b o plus o c okay that's how i can get this vector here of b c i can use that root there why because i've got known values there okay so let's use that one using that one i can have my b o is equal to b b o is equals to b but because i'm i know my o b it's like o b o b is equal to b now b o is the reverse so it's equal to negative b it's the reverse of that vector so i'll have my minus b here plus o c we are given is 3a so at the end of the day my b c my b c is now equal to 3a minus b okay so this is my b c okay i've expressed b c in terms of that let's move on to the next question we are given b y is equals to that okay <clears throat> so when we are given this one we want to express o y o y so we want to express this one o y okay so i can take triangle o b y o b y this one okay and i can have o y being equal to o b plus b y okay like that so i'm taking it in this sense that my o y is this one o y is this direction i can go via o b plus b y that's how i'm taking it okay so let's do that o y becomes what o y is now equal to o b i know is b plus b y we are given is m b c okay like that so we can simplify our b c we had calculated our b c as previously we have calculated our b c as from the previous question is 3a minus b so we are going to use this one so our o y becomes b plus m 3a minus b okay and this i can remove the brackets and have b plus 3a 3m sorry 3m 3m a minus minus mb okay like that now i'll take similar i'll i'll take the values with the same color this one and this one together and group them together so i'll have my 3ma then i've got my plus b minus mb like that now for this one i can take out the b okay so i'm going to take out the b and i'll have my oy is 3ma plus if i take out b i'll have one here and minus m there okay so at the end of the day this becomes my oy this is my final answer there let's go on to the next question okay 
So the next question is saying all y is given that. So we are saying all y is equals to n or x. So I can take this as equation number two. So I'm going to use the previous answer that we had as all y is equals to 3a, 3ma plus 1 minus mb. This is my equation number one. Okay, so I'll be using these equations to um, to evaluate the value of m and the value of n there. These are the values that we want to see or to find. Okay, so what I can do from these questions now, uh, it's like all x here, we can simplify. We were given all x, we got our all x as half a plus b okay so i can use this one so let's substitute our equation number two there we have it as o y is equals to n so i can have it as half n let me have it as half n half n a plus b okay like that and when I have it like this, I can simplify it, further simplify it and have it as half NA plus half NB. So that they are now different. Uh, these colors are different. Okay. So this is equation number. This is equation number two. Okay. Okay. Equation number one is. Equation number one is OY is equals to 3ma plus 1 minus mb okay that's one okay there now with this uh you can take note that we have got um we've got an a here and on this one we've got an a there as well we've got an a there and an a here so this will be taken as identical because they've got the same color so we, it's like we are now equating uh those values that have got the same color there is the same way for the second one okay here so i'll have my half n being equal to 3m is my equation there and i can take for b so these are for a i can take for b and I have uh, for B, I can have half N is equals to 1 minus M. These are for B. Okay. So we are going to use these ones to solve for our equation. So for this one solving, I can simply subtract these two. If I subtract, I can have 3M minus 1 minus M is equal to 0. Okay. Because half minus half there i'll get a zero this one i should also get a zero okay so simplifying i'll get 3m minus 1 plus m okay is equals to zero so 4m is equals to 1 so our m is equals to 1 over 4 okay now taking our m there into one of the equations i can have 3m is equals to half n so my 3 by 1 over 4 is equals to half n. Okay, I can get my n there. So it's like I now have 3 over 4 is equals to half n. This side I can multiply by 2 over 1 by 2 over 1. Here they cancel, they cancel here 1 and 2. So my n is equal to 3 over 2 or half or 1 and half. Okay, so these are the values that we have here. Otherwise, that's how you solve this question. Okay, bye-bye guys. Let's meet in Vectors 7.